Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with the ET4X. Uh, I showed you this the other day where we printed the fossil fish. Today, I think I've got it so that that gap is right. So, my friends, let's get cracking. All right, friends, as we take a look at the print as it goes, you can see that now the gap in the center is pretty much the same on both sides. So, I'm going to take you to my other ET4X, and we'll take off the front of it, and I'm going to show you what I found. All right, friends, here we are with ET4X number two. Uh, first things first, the issue that I found is actually the hot end. So I'm going to use this awesome little screwdriver. Once again, it's just got the same tip as the hex, but uh, grabbing it like this is so much easier when you're taking it off. Uh, if you ever have a clogged hot end, uh, this is how you get in to fix that as well. Or this is how I chose to get in and do it. Let's make sure we don't lose those screws. I'll set them right over here. And then here is our cool little hot end. Uh, are you ready for this? Comes off with the same screwdriver. And then here's what's funny. Um, these don't fit snug. So you can see it's still attached. But look at that. You can twist this left and right. And what I noticed was that the other one was slanted. So I just manually got in here lined it up so it was straight, retightened it, and then printed the fish again. So now we can go test the results and see if I actually stuck the landing. And of all the cool things, I just heard that printer end. So let's scoot on over into that room and give it a test. Although before I do, I don't want to lose these screws, so I'm going to put them back on. All right, friends, so it is moment of truth time. Let's slide that little guy forward. Um, just looking at it, right now I can say that it looks even. Let's grab the little spatula and pry them off. And Franz, <laughs> not having any trouble with adhesion apparently, we have got on demand flexible fishy. Friends, that is how it's supposed to be. So this time, I'm going to have to say 10 for 10. Alrighty, friends, so there is something you really need to check out. Make sure that you've got your hot end aligned because the difference between having it print perfect and having it print-ish is a simple little nudge. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.